Okay, this is happening. I'm not panicking yet. It's 10.20 in the morning and I need to have this ready before I think I have around five hours to work on this presentation because I need at least two breaks to have lunch and early dinner because I have other commitments in the evening. Right, so tomorrow I've got this presentation at one and I still have the entire morning to work on it but I want to use that time to prepare the presentation rather than working on the PowerPoint itself. Okay, there are so many projects I'm working on that my presentation will include those. So it will be like part one, part two, part three. So I've just finished part one, at least in the PowerPoint. Now I need to think if that's exactly what I want to say. 12 o'clock, break time, break time. So it's time for a lunch break and I had this type of work prepared since yesterday evening because I knew I couldn't cook. Right, so I'm gonna finish this as quick as I can. I'll take five, ten minute break just to digest a bit. Maybe a tea and I'll come back to work. So, see you in a bit. Right, I just had one hour break. I'm freaking out. It's dark already, like almost. It's just starting to make a lot of sense. It's not as empty as it looks like here in this light, but I'm actually starting to be proud and I have like high expectations of my presentation tomorrow so let's see how it goes. Five PM my goal was to have this finished by this time and of course I haven't. And now I have to have like early dinner because I have another commitment. Let's see let's see if I can at least work one more hour whenever I'm back. Otherwise, tomorrow I'll be here in the morning again. I'm not proud. I don't know what happened. I, honestly, I think my theory is that I... The last time I presented my work was like almost half a year ago. So I had so much work done. Then I spent like hours and hours summarizing what I wanted to say. At least that's a good sign for my imposter syndrome. 20 to 10. The truth is that I am I'm a dancer. I needed to be here at nine, but I decided that I needed some food for tomorrow and for the other days of the week because I've been so busy working that I didn't think of getting groceries sometime. I have time now to cook my late dinner because I had my early dinner before, but because I've been exercising basically for three hours now, I'm very hungry again and I need energy to keep working. So I got sandwich and orange juice for the rest of the night to see how much time i've got left it's done done now tomorrow morning i'm just gonna practice it's 11 pm wow i'm actually very proud i can't believe that i'm gonna go to bed on time good night then see you tomorrow it's done finished one hour and ten minutes of oral exam. I call it exam, but it's not an exam. It's just to prove my knowledge and nobody's matching this. But I have the social pressure of all the lab being there. My, the other PhD students from the lab, and they also work very hard. So I want to be on the same level. So that's what happened. It's that. <laughs>